Hey guys, so this was what we did on uh, Tuesday night, just a really um, simple fitness test that you can just print out and do. And it's it's kind of really working out all the different areas you can improve on and how you're doing. Because if you don't track the numbers, like the reason I use Fitbits and Apple Watch and Garmin is so I can see what's going on. If you don't actually um, track the numbers, there's no way of knowing whether you're improving or going backwards or going forward. So this is like a print-off sheet and a series of tests. Obviously, a couple of these tests we picked up on, on your app anyway. Um, but we're looking at balance, flexibility, strength, endurance. First test would be heart rate. So I'm going to think, actually, here's things you need. Timer, scale. Uh, you should have this, should have this, should have this. Rule if you want, chair, step or box. Uh, and a Kinex box or toilet paper roll. I'll explain why. Uh, test one. You can do this first thing in the morning by using your arteries in your neck, your two fingers, uh, index middle finger, or you can use your palm, like your left arm, and place your index middle finger on the thumb side of your wrist. Uh, set the timer for 30 seconds, count number of beats, multiply them by two. This will get picked up in your sleep if you're wearing your uh, watch to bed. There's one body composition. We obviously get this with the scales, but also what you should be doing is take measurements. And when you click on my app and you go to the blue circle, white cross, it will give you the um, the way to do the measurements. But wide is point, chest, arms, hips, thighs. You can do forearms, you can do shoulders, you can do calves. The only one that's the narrowest point is the waist, which is usually about an inch above your belly button. Um, but whichever way you do it, just make sure you replicate the same movements and you should be doing this on a Sunday. Uh, sit and reach test, about flexibility, bad back, etc. If you tighten the hamstrings, that'll be a factor. If you've got a step or something like this, ideal. If not, just sit with your legs straight, lean forward and put the tape measure at the bottom of your heel and see how far you can go. If you can't reach your toes, then you measure this gap as a minus. So it, this this link will be posted it's in the group it's also going to be posted here in the training site balance test really really important um <clears throat> it's a skill because you want balance and you don't want to fall over um shoes off stand your hips one sole of your non-standing foot against the inside knee of your other leg and just see how long you raise the heel from the floor and see how long you can hold it you record your best time for three attempts squat test is basically seeing how many squats you can do to a 90 degree, like onto a step or onto a uh, chair or a bench before you fatigue. That's when your legs are burning so much you can't do any more. Press-up test. This is where you need the tissues or toilet paper because you want to go too deep into press-up because you can risk damaging your shoulders. So this is kind of what Rose got here. That's the ideal depth. The elbows are almost 90 degrees, straight line for the body. But by all means, do a three-quarter press-up as well. And once again, you want to do this one. It's how many you can do in one minute. Sit-up test. This is a mix between a sit-up and a crunch. So hands on your thighs, up over the tops of the knees, and back down again. And once again, it's how many you can do in one minute. Uh, aerobic test. You want a 12-inch step. Um, you should have something kicking around that you could use in the house or outdoors. And what you do, you step up for three minutes off step on the box step off the box i think you've got left leg up right leg up left leg down right leg down right leg up left leg up right leg down left leg down left leg up so you replicate through the for the full range of movement and once again you do it for three minutes uh you check your heart rate using your monitor or your pulse manually and you take your pulse for one minute and the, the score at the end of three minutes is your, what you record and also in this membership site and in the Facebook group, there is a one mile walk test to tell you about fitness. A static endurance plank test, straight arm plank, shoulder to wrist straight line. We just want to see how long we can hold this. Um, make sure you don't drop your hips, hold it for one minute and see how long you can hold it for. Ball set, once again, um, this is one when we keep arms off the legs, 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. And we sit and see how long we can hold it for. <laughs> burpee test. Everyone has a burpee. <clears throat> the thing about burpee is you can stand tall, place your hands on the floor, 
jump back, jump back up and jump. Or you can place your hands on the floor, step back one leg, step back the second leg, step back forward, step back forward, both legs, stand up. Whichever test you do, replicate the same test in five weeks time. And here's your sheet for tracking it. So I would say every five weeks and you can look at these and just it's another thing for motivation and accountability to see how far you've come. Any questions? Let me know.